You know I love it when you're loving me Sometimes it's better when it's publicly I'm not ashamed, I don't care who sees Just hugging and kissing our love exhibition Oh, we'll rendezvous up to the fire escape, girl I'd like to set off an alarm today This love emergency don't make me wait Just follow, I'll lead you I urgently need you Oh, let's go to the park Muri Okola, maybe I wanna kiss you underneath the stars Maybe we'll go too far We just don't care We just don't care We just don't care about the release schedule apparently this is the podcast without a name and the release schedule my name thankfully is still chudi wahimi this is episode 14 you'll notice there is no episode 13 if you'd notice i don't know i'm just imagining that you're paying attention for some reason um but yeah if you're paying attention this is episode 14 i made episode 13 and i spent a few days listening to it i just don't know why i didn't feel like it was right to release it was a banger of an episode um i was analyzing big bang theory and how it has had effects on our dating culture and it's a very interesting episode it's just that i feel like i need to do some more to it so 13 will come later i imagine and i think officially i can say i don't intend to keep a regular schedule posting this thing no I said then they pay me to do it. So mm-mm. when I'm in the mood to release it, I release it. If you see say episode day, thank God. If you are listening to it in bulk, great. But from so I'm just saying that in case you notice that for a few days I don't post. What was I doing? Maybe eating, maybe sleeping, maybe doing something else. I don't know. Whatever. You know, we still have life outside things like this. You know, it feels like these days you have to remind people of that. Like, the world doesn't revolve around your Instagram and Twitter posting, content, marketing, everything. You know, there's still life outside the screen, remember? Remember when Uncle Gary Vaynerchuk... <laughs> That's the name I've given him. Remember when he was telling us, oh, content, content, content. Mm, he owned part of Facebook. Oh, now, remember, he said he owned part of the company, Okay. Oh, you must post every day your content. You must content. You must content. You must content. And all of us will just be saying, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. You must, every day you must content. Every day you must content. Question is, who actually wins when you content every day? Is it the company that has convinced you to be a content provider for free? Mm? Or is it you? Is it? Think about it. Come on. Come on. Is it you? Because let's be honest with ourselves. Mr. Post is everyday content. Okay, go, 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 go. Let's imagine you are a freelancer. That's the world I'm coming from. Let's imagine you're a freelancer. You are a cinematographer. Okay, go. You spend three to four hours of your life that you will never get back. Four hours of your life gone editing that video for the gram. You know that video that is supposed to show your work to people and magically get them to fall in love with it so that immediately they are going to hire you. Remember that? So you spend four hours on it and then you put it out and then you get your replies. And what do you get? Dope, bro. Fire, bro. Wow. Mado. <laughs> I think that's the worst one. It's mado. Four hours of your life and you get mado, mado, flames, flames, flames. And then... Mr. Gary Vaynerchuk will tell you, come on, post more, keep it going, you have to post more. Um, maybe it works, you know, but it don't they resemble Lotto. <laughs> it don't they do they resemble Lotto, you know, and then the third person, just they buy, now the next ticket where you buy, now that ticket go in, that your next ticket, just continue to they play, just they play Lotto, they play, mm, this uh, Instagram business, it don't they resemble Lotto. Or am I the only person again that feels this way? Because I know I think some of these things and they're weird. So it's possible that I'm the only one that feels this way. Okay. 
think about the people that have been preaching this thing to us since. Do you really think that these people have our best interest at heart? That's all of us just gullible. <laughs> just gullible together. The bastions of integrity <laughs> that brought us NFTs and told us that buying JPEGs of monkeys is a good investment. Those are the people we are still listening to. Really? We are still listening to them? All of us? Are we in agreement? I don't know. Tell me so that I know what to do. <laughs> Because at the point, I beg, I beg. We need to start asking these people, eh, please, what are you hiding at your back, sir? Thank you. I know that this, your left hand that you have brought forward is is looking good. But that your right hand, way they back. What did they that hand, sir? Please bring it out. Let's see. Because as time has shown us, and as the studies have proven, you know, <laughs> something they always did that other hand. And usually, it's not something that you like. So we need to start asking these people. They first of all came... They say, take mirror, we carry mirror. They say, okay, no wala. The other hand, na na chain, they there. Okay, no shakes. Say, we, we don't accept that one. Say, okay, no shakes, no shakes. Nicely played, nicely played. <laughs> that one passed, okay? So, yes, 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 I've gone by now. They now brought another one. We say, okay, ah, what's this shiny thing? This shiny thing, they say, is uh, social media. I say, okay, no problem. What's the other hand? Is the chain too? Okay. Last, 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 last. If you if you catch me Mugu once, you be bad person. You catch me Mugu two times, I need to look myself. Say, ah, oh boy, what did they do you now? What did they stop? Every day they go, they catch you Mugu. Like, think about the name that they even call us. That, that's the place to even start. Like, we have a problem with being called bitches or nigger. Like, just saying those two words now, some people are feeling chills. Some people are getting angry. You know how it, it riles you up? But you have an entire industry that refers to all of us as users. Know how? Do you know how dehumanizing the word user is? You're not a person. No, you're a user. Like, I can't remember who it was that said it, but there are two industries that call their customers users. Tech and drugs. Do you really think that the drug lord has your interest at heart? The same way, do you really think that this our tech people, sorry, dear Uncle Father Zuckerberg, on our people, do we really think that those your people have our interest at heart? I'm not sure again, no, I'm not sure. I think about social media platforms like a room. That's the analogy I have for it in my, in my head. You have this beautiful room and all of us have been brought into the room. And you're told, hey... Everything you need is going to be brought here. Everything you need. You want entertainment? Oh, look at the dancing clowns. They're everywhere. You know? What do you want? Business opportunities? Oh, we'll bring it to you. We'll bring it to you. It's going to be here. Don't worry. We have the customers. They're in the room. You know? It's a beautiful room. It's a spacious room, you know? Hmm. Until you try to leave and you realize that the door not the open. <laughs> Have you not tried to leave? When, when last did you try to leave Instagram? That's so simple. It's not simple like that now. My brother, they don't trap us. You don't gather everybody trap inside Instagram. Because, and it's true, I joke about it, but I actually worry about it. We live in a world where we are suddenly battling with AI. And Instagram, for instance, I pick on Instagram a lot. But Instagram's AI is working to ensure that it understands you more than you understand yourself so that it can predict with ever-increasing accuracy the things that will get your attention and keep you scrolling on the app because that is the AI's KPI. Its KPI is to keep you scrolling. That AI is strong, I can't even lie to you people. I've been watching my Instagram, so I do this thing where I just open my for you, the is it for you, the search, Instagram search thing. Um, and at first, what it was doing was it was babies, babies and UFC. That was all. I will open it, babies, UFC, babies, UFC. It realized, hmm, anything you put babies, this guy will pay attention. Or put UFC, this guy will pay attention. And then it, it's at a point where I would open it knowing that I want to see what they have brought in to see how the algorithm is understanding me. And before you know it, I am trapped in a scrolling um, session. And I'm like, oh, they caught me again. Oh, Bobs, this AI is strong, people. And at least in the case of Instagram, maybe 
I don't know. It's not like they they will listen to this podcast and say they will take it seriously. But just in case, Uncle Zog Zog, mm, dear Zuckerberg, our King Zuckerberg, dear sir, please tell us, are you sure this your algorithm is good for us? <laughs> I know it's good for you. Thank God for your life. You know, we can see all the billions. But is it good for us? Us, we no get billions. Mm, us, is it good for us? Talk to us. Talk true. No lie. Mm, I know you have incentive to lie. Please don't say the money many. But talk to us. Talk true. Mm, dear Daddy Zuckerberg. <laughs> is this good for us? Mm, I don't think it is. The studies say it's not. So now we're trapped in the room. And... Um, we have to convince ourselves that we need to continue contenting. So, dear people, keep contenting every day. Every day, don't stop. Do what Mr. Gary Vaynerchuk said. Gary Chuku.